Hi, welcome to another episode or home episode of Lattice Training. Today we're going to look at different workouts and different exercises that you can do at home. I'm going to go through five different exercises which I think is a great full body workout using just household items and anything you can find around the home. So let's get started. So the items you're going to need for this workout are a table, you don't need a dog, you need a rucksack which has got some household items in, usually cans of beans or cans of food would be great, something appropriate this time of year. Uh, we need a bigger bag or something where you can put more load in if possible and you might not need this and then a bottle of water or same thing again a can of food which you can use for some of the lighter load exercises. These are just ways to make it slightly harder. You can do this with just what you have using a floor and a table. So this first exercise is called thread the needle. And what it's gonna involve is being in a plank position, twisting right underneath and then extending up towards the roof. It's a really good core and shoulder workout. I try and do around 20 reps and you can hold something to make it a little bit harder if you wanted to. This weight can increase if you've got some weights with it, but if you've just got household items, then you can just use what you've got available. It's one of those exercises, if you do have a dog, you need to make sure they're not licking you in the face throughout the entire exercise, because it's quite distracting. Isn't that right? This exercise is really good for building up body tension and improving strength around your shoulder girdle. So any of those really tensiony moves that you're doing on the wall, this will help replace it and condition you to be better at doing those in the first place. The main thing for this exercise is to reach all the way around, extend as far as you can back and try and keep a nice stable body. You can increase the weight like I said or just do it on its own, it's still a great workout. So the next exercise we're going to look at is just simple press ups, but we need to try and increase the load. A lot of my training will involve bench press normally, so what I'd like to do instead of using that is just doing press ups, but involving some additional load either using a rucksack or I'm going to change the position and the load by putting my feet up on the table. So a good example, rucksack on with as much weight as possible, make sure it's done up nice and tight and then just doing normal press ups. If I want to start making this a little bit harder, put my feet on the table increases the load of my upper body and also changes the position to be more above my head. Same thing again, it's just a nice variant that you can do to increase the load. So one of the harder things to get worked out in the home setup is using your pulling muscles in the same way that you'll get climbing. If you don't have something to hang from like a pull-up bar or a fingerboard, it can become quite hard to work these pulling muscles. You can use rucksacks and bags to work bicep curls or low rows in the same way, but sometimes it's quite hard to get enough stimulus and enough overload to train them properly. Using a dining table or a chair setup can help you accomplish this. And what we're gonna do is do low rows, and that's gonna work you in the same position as climbing on a steep board. So if I want to make this a little bit harder, and this isn't even a very stable table, is I can actually tow hook on the other end and that's going to work even more like I'm climbing in a roof. That's kind of good that. So the next thing we're going to look at is doing some weighted squats. I know that's a little bit of controversy for some of you climbers out there, but I'm trying to get a full body workout whilst I'm still at home. I'm lucky enough to have borrowed a haul bag from a friend, full of climbing gear. And as any of you know who tries to go on climbing trips, it's really hard to try and keep your weight down under that 20 kilo limit. So there's usually enough spare gear to go around and make sure that we're doing it with enough weight. All I'm going to do is have this on my back throughout the whole time. Ooh. 
nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna complete nice and simple squat exercises. Like I said before, same with the press ups. You can do this without any weight at all if you find it hard enough. I'm doing it with this because I'm used to doing it with extra weight and it gives me that same stimulus as I would get down the gym using a barbell. So the last exercise I'm gonna look at is doing a one arm snatch. So that is taking a weight from the floor all the way to above your head. Same thing working, legs, body tension and all the muscles working in a full body workout. I'm gonna use a bag and I've got some extra weight in the bottom. And I'm just gonna pinch it so it's a bit easier to hang on to. And what I'm gonna be doing is trying to lift this from the floor to the top in one smooth movement. Cool. So a few bits of really basic equipment, a couple of bags, dining table, and there's loads of stuff you can do to make those improvements, alterations, and keep training whilst you're at home. Enjoy.